I always wanted one of these since I was a kid, but I certainly can't afford one. Here's a quick picture of a bunch of them at the Speary Searchlight Corporation assembly plant. The key component to a searchlight is a short focal length parabolic reflector with good reflectivity. So I have a aluminum parabolic reflector, but it has a shiny bright electroplating on it. And before I get some good reflectivity, I have to sand that off and then polish up the aluminum. The sanding has now been completed. And all I have left to do is to use the buffing wheel and make a mirror out of this. I have two different lamp assemblies. The round one here has a 650 watt halogen bulb with a reflector, a backward facing reflector, and that's going to face the dish. I want to try that, and I got a 1000 watt halogen lamp on its mount. So I'll install these and then we will try it out. That's what the lamp assembly looks like when it's mounted. And I can move the stem in and out to adjust the focus. And that's the back showing the focus assembly. That's the reflective mirror. Before we do any demonstrations, we're going to examine the construction details. Starting with the base, I took the base off a discarded swivel chair and into that a piece of one inch EMT electrical tubing fit real nice so I use that and on the top I put in a brass bushing the stock came out of some scrap heap somewhere I just turned it down to fit in the electrical tubing on that goes a washer and a piece of one inch bar stock I turned down the end a little bit to fit inside and on that goes our next assembly. Next I have the assembly that mounts the reflective dish and that just slips onto that spindle. There's a uh, small bolt that bolts on there and it keeps this from popping off. And that's that. And this is the mounting arrangement for the dish. The dish is held in place with that aluminum hoop and there are just four brackets attached to the hoop. That's the mounting arrangement for the, uh, the dish. I just got some sheet metal let it fold it over and that grips onto the parabolic dish. The polishing job isn't perfect, but I want to see how things work and I kind of stumbled through the whole polishing process, so at another time I'll go over it again. We're set up with the 650 watt bulb and I'm going to try to focus this in. That looks to be about it. 
I have a uh, target that I'm going to put the light on and we're going to get a uh, light reading on that. We're about 60 feet away from the spotlight and uh, I just have like a plain piece of cardboard. And I got a light meter and we're reading roughly uh, I'll say between 50 and around 50 lux. I have the 1000 watt element in there now and we'll get some light readings. There's our light readings. We're way brighter than the other one. It's almost four times as bright. So here is our search light, ready for some demonstrations. This is the vantage point for tonight's experiments. The uh, searchlight is going to be about just about 37 feet above ground level. There's a field we're going to beam into this field. Trees over there on the horizon, they're probably a quarter mile away. view from the ground. And there it is. Ready for action. Okay, we're on at night and uh, that spot you're looking at is about 150 feet away. This camera is not the best for night use. But there's some pine trees there. That shelter there is a good 300 feet away. That's a uh, 12 by 20 foot Quonset shelter. Kind of zoomed out here. <laughs> 